Hello guys and welcome to this very last uh, PHP login and register program uh, tutorials. Uh, my name is George and in this third part we are going to create our login file so we can log in by using the information that uh, we had um, registered in our database. So go ahead and continue on. Let's just create a new file. This is going to be a PHP file over here for example and let's just uh, save this and I don't know what's that's happening so let's just go ahead and save this I'm going to click on save and login and then just type in login.php and so this is what we're going to do the first thing that you need to do is you need to start a session and this is because uh, we're going to uh, evo evaluate uh, sessions uh, of usernames that are of users that are already logged in so we're going to check that out and we're going to type in uh, if is set and we're going to check uh, the session variable and we're going to type in user and basically we're going to check out if the if a user is logged in if it is uh, we're going to type in echo and welcome so this welcome here means that we're logging you are logged in and if, you, if not we need to, to check out if there is has been a, a post message uh, for uh, users that are already being um, that they want to log in so go ahead and type in if is set post and then user and we're also going to check uh, for passwords so if is set post password we will um, uh, check out the database so we can see uh, what's going on so and right now I'm going to make up uh, the form for submitting uh, this data so I'm going just to make the dot type HTML and I'm just gonna go ahead and make out the form just like that I'm not caring about uh, some HTML5 standards or that kind of stuff just type in username and type an input, type text this is going to be the user and uh, we will have the password or input type password name equals password and a submit button and that's all we need so just type in type equals submit so we have our form and uh, now let's check out uh, the variable so we can connect to the database and do all this stuff so the first thing that we will be doing is to capture these variables just go ahead and create a user variable equals and remember we need to check out that the variable um, is fine and uh, there is no SQL injection over here so tap in my SQL real escape string and here you will type in the uh, post user variable and we will also try out the password variable but in this case uh, if you remember in the last uh, tutorials our password is being stored as an encrypted SHA-1 uh, like these ones over here so what we're going to do now is that we're going to encrypt this password so we can compare that uh, password to the one in the database so that will be the correct way uh, of um, checking uh, the, the password and, and checking if it is right so type in this SHA-1 post password and now, and now we have the password that we need uh, I'm preventing also some uh, SQL injection over here so basically now we have to log in uh, to the database and we need to query the database and see uh, if this username and password are correct so 
what we're going to do now I also forgot to tell the form that the action sorry for that so HTTP localhost projects login login.php so that's pretty much it so right now we need to make a uh, we can use the, the connect function from the previous tutorial to create um, the the object uh, database to, so we can connect to the database let's put this function over here and this is going to be equals connect and over here we type the username password which is uh, george and uh, 12245 and so now that we're connected we're going to make a really similar function to the register function but we're going to make some changes and basically we are going to uh, make a more like a validate function validate function uh, to check if the username and the password are correct so in this function we're going to use three parameters the database we're also going to use the user and the password to check out so over here we're going to use a validate we're going to create a variable sorry evaluation equals validate and put inside uh, the database object plus the user plus the password so we can check that out and after that what we're going to do here is that we already have the username and the password so we can erase this and our query is going to be different this time because we need to select uh, information we need to extract the information from the database uh, so we can check that out so we're going to change this and we're going to say okay I'm going to erase this over here I'm going to say select username comma password from users where username equals and we're going to add in the pass uh, the username variable which is user and then we're going to okay let's add some quote marks over here and password equals and adding the the password variable just like that and end uh, the query so this is the query and now that we have the query this is going to change a little bit more over here so let me just check that out So basically the change over here is that we need to create another variable that is going to be the result of this query. So type in the result of variable and say that it is equals uh, database execute uh, the query and um, let's make space over here. And so this result uh, will contain uh, all the data that we have extracted uh, from this uh, query over here and we're assuming this is one username and uh, one password so type in for each and inside the for each uh, statement uh, type in result as row because this is more like an array so we're going to check uh, the results of that and we just need to check the, the user from that uh, row that we're getting from the database so row is an array uh, is, is an associative array where you can specify um, the columns that are in the database so we store here user username so this variable will be different than this user here so username equals row name 
and uh, now that we have this we can return that value uh, if this value contains uh, something so that means that uh, we actually get got a result from the query and then the username and the password are valid so you can go ahead and do that and after we end this we can return the username over here I'm gonna say that the username is false so if we change uh, its value over here uh, we will return the username that uh, we just um, validated in the database and if there is another result we, we will return false so this is the validate function and over here what we will do is that uh, evaluation will be equals to the validate uh, function and uh, what we're going to do is that if evaluate is different from false then you can type in um, echo welcome eval and we can also set a session uh, for that user so we can say session user equals evolve so that's pretty much it now let's go ahead and save this hey guys sorry for that so I fixed the problem and the problem over here is was that uh, I wasn't uh, typing correctly the user and password over here so there was an error here uh, in the quote marks but I already fixed it and right now what you have to do just uh, check this out just put an a username password and we check this all out um, alright and uh, let's just erase this line it was for debugging and the other error was that I was using an exec execute function I had to use the query function so just type in query and it should be fine so go ahead and save this and then create some other um, um, how do you say um, users so this username here is admin and this password uh, is basically admin so we're going to log in with that so just type in admin and admin and you submit and it says welcome your login so that's uh, really really cool right now and if you try to enter this again you will see that uh, you will see this message over here uh, because our session is up so uh, that means that we are logged in so thank you guys for watching this tutorial sorry for the errors on the tutorial uh, these things happen uh, sometimes so I guess um, if you like the video don't forget to click the like button and if you don't uh, well click this like but that wouldn't be fun <laughs> and if, if you like uh, to see more videos so you can subscribe to my channel for more programming tutorials uh, PHP, JavaScript, uh, HTML um, maybe more in the future so thanks for watching and see you later bye bye